He pitched for four different teams and in both leagues. But no matter where he played or who he played for, Jim Bunning was one of the most dependable and successful starting pitchers of the 1950s and 60s. James Paul David Bunning, born October 23, 1931, in Southgate, Kentucky, was a man who relied on sheer will and determination throughout his career. After signing with the Detroit Tigers as an amateur free agent in 1950, Bunning toiled in the minor leagues for parts of seven seasons before finally sticking with the big league club in 1957. Bunning immediately proved his worth in Detroit. The big right-hander led the American League with 20 wins in 1957, a then twirled a no-hitter against the Boston Red Sox in 58. The following year, Bunning throttled the Red Sox again, this time striking out the Boston side on the minimum nine pitches for the rare immaculate inning. In December of 1963, the Tigers traded Bunning to the National League's Philadelphia Phillies. A new slate of opposing hitters proved to be no problem for Bunning in 1964, as he won 19 games and led the National League with an astounding 4.76 strikeout to walk ratio. But his most impressive feat came on Father's Day, when Bunning, a father of nine children himself, became the seventh pitcher in Major League history to throw a perfect game. From 1964 through 67, Bunning averaged 18 wins a season and led all Major League pitchers with 992 strikeouts. In 1967, at the age of 35, Bunning posted a career-best 2.29 ERA and led the league with 253 punch-outs. Bunning would eventually be traded to the Pittsburgh Pirates and then the Los Angeles Dodgers before playing his final two seasons back in Philadelphia. He finished his 17-year career with 224 wins, a 3.27 ERA, and 2,855 strikeouts, the second highest total in history at the time he retired. He became just the third pitcher following Cy Young and Al Orth to win at least 100 games in both major leagues. Jim Bunning went on to serve in both the U.S. House of Representatives and the U.S. Senate for his beloved home state of Kentucky. He was elected to the Hall of Fame in 1996.